I know it's challenging. I know you don't want to. I know it's easier to not do it. But you know what? That's why you came here. That's why I came here. That's why we are here. Spiritual beings having a human experience. Remember, we won't get to create when we go back to the other side. You won't get to express yourself. You won't get to build things and design things and make things and put ideas together. You won't be able to do any of that. That's why I force myself to create something every day, even if it's just a small piece of writing or coming up with a bunch of ideas for products or improvements on my courses or improvements in my books or new you know, thought tools or spiritual tools to share with you or new ideas for like the focus and flow journaling practice, right? To enhance it, to make it better because newsflash, we can always improve things about ourselves, about our world we live in, processes, systems, etc. We're never done. And I think that's probably one of the biggest hurdles to get over. We look out in the world, we see things going pretty good. You know, we have some challenges, no question, but we'll always have challenges and we'll always have bright spots. We see things going pretty good and we think, well, I don't need to create anything. Everyone's already got all that locked up. It's a big mistake. Remember, that's, our re that's the resistance talking. That's our monkey mind, our lizard brain saying, no, you don't need to do it. But you do need to do it. I need to do it every single day. So don't talk yourself out of creating something. And here's the reason why. The reason why isn't just because when we go back to the spiritual realm, we're going to wish we could come back here and create stuff. That's a good reason. But the bigger reason is this. It's a muscle, right? And if you use it every day, it gets stronger. Seth Godin talks about this. You know, he's written a daily blog for, what, 15, 20 years-ish every day. And you know what he says? He said, since he knows he's going to have to write the blog the next day, he, his mind is trained now to look for topics to write about, right? And so he lives his life. He, this is exactly what Tom Segura, similar to what Tom Segura says. You live your life and report. As a comic, Tom Segura said he lives his life and reports, right? Seth Godin lives his life and reports. You are living your life and report. And it doesn't matter what you're you know, your business is creating content can drive traffic or awareness to your business. I've seen people have channels on fence making, uh, pottery, mowing lawns, plumbing. I mean, you know the deal. There's a channel for every single business and they are sharing value, more value above and beyond what they can give their immediate customers in their area. They share value all around the world. I, I go to YouTube all the time first when I need to learn how to do something, fix something or create something or whatever. I mean, it's all there, legitimately all there. But since, since Seth Godin has committed himself to writing a daily blog, he finds something in his day-to-day -day experience every single day to write about. And that's what you can do too. Absolutely. Right? Again, we use the muscle we use our creative ability, our brain to think up things, to come up with ideas. And here's my experience. Once you do it and get, get the prime, the pump, so to speak, you will not be able to create or entertain as many ideas as come to you. Like I have pages and journals and books and digital uh, notes full of ideas for things I want to create or for content I want to create. That's how the mind works. Once you prime that pump and it starts rolling, it doesn't stop. That's why people like Abraham Hicks say that in our vortex of creation, we have like 30 lifetimes worth of stuff. And I believe that's true. Then once you prime the pump and it starts flowing out, then you have to do something equally hard, equally challenging, and that is discriminate what idea you want to put your time into 
and what idea you don't want to put your time into. That's where the that's where a challenge can happen as well. And I'm going to share what I do with you. What I do is I say, is this idea worthy of my time? As, here is a as an infinite spiritual being enjoying a human experience, is this idea worthy of my time? And do I love it? Do I does it excite me? Does it energize me? This is all the these are all of the questions in my purpose finder module in my life by design journal, which is a complete lifestyle design journal, business design journal that's going to help you design a business and lifestyle that is in alignment with your core values and what you came here to create. Right now it's in beta mode, which is you and I on a one-on-one -on -one recorded Zoom call. But what else is more important in life than to realize why you're here? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Because if you die without knowing that, Did you really get the full, the full spectrum experience? See, right now in our world, we have a lot of distractions. Well, there's always a lot of distractions. There's a lot of people pulling you in many different ways. There's a lot of people indoctrinating other people to think certain ways. And the most grievous example of doing harm to other people is to take them off their life path, to make them distracted from their life path. This is why, this is why I, I tend to jump right in on videos. I don't, you know, with, with uh, love and respect to the people that do this, I'm not going to thank my live watchers individually. I appreciate them. I appreciate you, but I'm not going to waste your time. It's a huge waste of time in my mind. We got to get in and get out, people. We don't have time to waste. You know, every moment is precious. We came here to create. And if you're not making lists of what you want to create and coming up with ideas and using that muscle, you're missing out on what it means to be a human being, right? Turning those thoughts to things. Again, however you want to do it, whether you're an artist, a singer, musician, builder, designer, baker, whatever you do, those ideas are solid gold. And when you, and there's nothing more fulfilling than making, than turning an idea into a thing. Nothing. Maybe nothing. It's pretty freaking awesome. You know, spiritual beings are on the other side going, oh, I can't wait to get in there and do that. And we're here doing it. Don't let people talk you out of it. Don't let people try to distract you or waste your freaking time. You know, turn your notifications off on your phone. Limit your calendar. Like, don't put a lot of, you know, things on your calendar. And just dive in to what, why you came here. And if you don't know why you came here, get in touch with me. I'll help you figure it out. This is my passion. This is my purpose, to help people enhance the human experience. That's what it's all about. gmarkphillips.com slash consulting or any of my courses, gmarkphillips.com slash courses. You know, don't, don't take five to 10 years figuring that stuff out on your own. Purchase the course, <laughs> get in, get out, and then get on with your life. Like I say, a lot of people go their whole life and they never know their purpose. They never know why they came here. They never tune into that little voice inside of them. There's two things that happen. Either they never tune into the little voice, that's number one, or they tune into the little voice and they never find the courage to do what the little voice is asking them to do, to take the inspired action. Because remember, that little voice is your intuition. It's your inner knowing, your inner being. Your soul is guiding you to do certain things and your soul will never lead you wrong. You could misinterpret what the soul is saying, but it will never lead you astray. So I hope you're creating something every day. I hope that you are pushing through that resistance. That's all it is, is resistance, mind chatter, um, dark, evil forces trying to keep us small, trying to keep us from shining our light. Because remember, creators 
if you're tuned in and creating in the best way, you're going to make the world a better place. What you create is going to make the world a happier, more joyous place. So thanks for watching this video. Leave me a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe if you want to. I'd love to have you on board. And also, why not subscribe to my email list? I'm going to give you tools for conscious creators, which is my personal collection of thought tools that I use all the time to help me stay in the game and beat resistance everything every single day. Because guess what? You beat it today, you're going to have to beat it again tomorrow. But if you beat it today, you're going to be that much more confident tomorrow. And it's going to get easier. It gets easier every time we discipline ourselves to do the thing we don't want to do. It gets easier. All right. Thanks for watching. Until next time, I uh, wish you all the best. Health, wealth, and success. Bye-bye.